Hello, my name is Richard Cronheis, and this is a picture of me in formal attire. And this is another episode of Dad's Learning Videos. I hope you enjoy the ride. So what shall we learn today? Uh, we're going to learn how to remove text enhanced adware, which is very nasty stuff. But first, a brief introduction. Uh, my name is Richard Cronheis. I am a business analyst, project manager, SharePoint evangelist in Chicago, Illinois, USA. You can find me on LinkedIn. I'm always interested in connecting with uh, talented people where I can exchange new ideas. And currently my learning focus is passing the PMP test and learning Microsoft SharePoint. So let's take a look at what we're learning today, which is removing text enhanced adware. If you've looked this up, you already know this is fairly nasty stuff. Text, en text enhanced adware is unsolicited adware. Uh, you're, you'll be reading something on the internet, you'll find what look like hot links, you'll click on it and all of a sudden you realize you've been taken to someone's uh, sales website. This would be okay if it was Google and if it was done with your permission, but what's really nasty about this is that to get Text Enhanced Adware to run, it had to embed itself into your browser and onto your computer, and this is done without your permission, which is very uh, tacky. So you think you're clicking for more information when instead you see an advertisement. So uh, in a previous episode, I showed people how I had identified that I had uh, text enhanced adware on my machine. So now I'm more interested in how do I remove the darn stuff? Well, first I read a really great article on removing text enhance, but it really didn't work. I'll refer to you because it may be necessary for you to use at a later time. You can see the address up here so you could go to it exactly. It's a very well written article and it shows exactly what text enhance looks like. That's what this area is all about. That uh, you might be pointing at something, it says text enhancer and it takes you to an ad. And whoever wrote this uh, article did a very nice job on uh, giving you methodologies for removing this and I tried many of these things. I found that text enhance had infected, for lack of a better word, my Google Chrome my Zilla Firefox, but had not uh, affected my Internet Explorer. So it had tainted two out of my three uh, browsers. I chose not to disallow third-party flash storage. I wasn't good enough to do a manual removal with registry e uh, entries, so I stayed away from that. I recommend you stay away from that also unless you eat, sleep, and breathe using um, uh, Windows registries. I tried antivirus and malware software. Uh, I also tried Symantec's tool. It didn't work. I could not restore my computer to a previous date and time, so that was out of the option. It was not an option. What I chose was antivirus and anti-malware software methodologies. So what did I do? Well, I purchased Spy Hunter software, and it removed the problem, but then the problem kept reappearing again and again and again. So I had hopes that uh, Spy Hunter would eliminate it and prevent it from happening, that's definitely not what happened. So just to show you what that looked like, uh, I'll stroll over here and go into this. The first time I ran uh, Spy Hunter, it looked something like this. Let's see, this looks correct. So I found that I had 63 threats that it identified and it removed. At one point it found over 120 threats that it identified and removed. So after a while, what I started doing is I became a bit smarter. I began to realize that Spy Hunter would not kill the viruses for me, wouldn't prevent them. It would kill them, but they would keep reappearing. So that didn't make sense. So what I did was I, uh, I killed the viruses, and, and then I you know, looked again. And after using uh, just browsers for 10, 20, 30 minutes, I picked up 22 new threats. So obviously this is something you live with that uh, infections occur. So I came up with a strategy and the strategy was this, is that I decided that uh, there was something happening with my machine that every time I started it up that it reactivated uh, the very nasty text enhance. So I began wondering what kind of software is being launched that I don't know about. So I'm good with computers, not great, but I'm good with it. So the first thing I did is I started to look in my um, control panel to see if there was some strange software. So as you're probably familiar with, you just you know click on the start button, go into the control panel, go into uninstall program, and then you find all the programs that you have. And, and what I did was 
I started reading the programs. If they sound legitimate like Adobe Flash, I left them alone. If they sounded fine like AT&T Connect, I left it alone. I went through all these things, didn't touch any Microsoft software that I had. I went through everything and then I came to realize that I found a piece of software that made no sense to me at all. And that piece of software was something called uh, Startup. That I found that there was something called Startup Toolbar that was in my program. So I uninstalled it. Actually what I did was first I researched it as it says here. I researched it on the internet and I determined that the Startup Toolbar was probably a vehicle for launching or acting as a Trojan horse for text enhanced adware so it was a bad thing. So after that research and realizing that I didn't need it, that probably it was related to some sort of adware problem, I uninstalled the Startup Toolbar. So my test methodology, I uninstalled Startup Toolbar, then I immediately rebooted my machine and when it came up I eliminated all the adware found by Spy Hunter. So I immediately ran Spy Hunter killed any viruses that I had seen. So my theory was that those those viruses had occurred you know in a previous session so if I had uninstalled startup if I had rebooted and then killed everything via Spy Hunter my belief was that if I rebooted immediately and if I ran Spy Hunter it would find no adware. So that's exactly what I did and I'm happy to report that after uninstalling startup Re, uh, killing everything with Spy Hunter, immediately rebooting, I immediately ran Spy Hunter, and this is what I saw. I determined that, let's see, here, zero threats. After running it through this process, I had zero threats. Now it had three unknown objects, but it had zero threats. So that was a very good sign that indicated that um, the text enhanced software was not being kicked off by some rogue software. So I further uh, did some further testing. What I did was um, I tried to recreate the text enhanced AdWord problem that I had. So basically I went on the internet and started looking at various articles where traditionally I had seen the nasty text enhanced AdWord and it wasn't present. So after this journey of two, three days of kind of banging on my computer, I believe I finally have removed text enhance. Now, Spy Hunter was not um, the, the prime method. Spy Hunter showed me that um, adware was there and killed it, but did not prevent its reemergence. So that was pretty much me that I uninstalled startup toolbar software. The problem is you don't know exactly what has caused your text enhanced problem, but from what I can tell you, you need something like Spy Hunter to see what kind of adware problems you have, and then you have to start thinking logically about do you have any software problems that are kicking in and, and causing on reboot trouble with adware? And then you need to start looking for rogue software such as Startup Toolbar, eliminating it and testing further. It should be nicer just to take this to a computer guy or gal and just pay them two or three hundred dollars to kill it, but um, you know, we don't always have that kind of money. So I did it on my own. That's pretty much it for today. I hope you've learned something. This is another episode of Dad's Learning Videos. I do hope that you had fun. Once again, my name is Richard Cronice, and that's a very unique name. It's a unique name, and I'm beginning to believe it's really a unique brand. I am the only Richard Cronice in the U.S. or anywhere that I have found on the Internet. So your LinkedIn inquiries are welcomed. Most importantly, I hope you had a great time. Hope you learned something. Uh, thank you so much for dropping by, and uh, leave a comment if you would. Thank you.